Okay, this is the first custom room based on September security patch is what I've tried. In September, actually Android 14, the stable version was going to release, but unfortunately, because of some reasons, Android 14 stable version did not came and it will come next month. And for now, as September security patch is here, so as the custom rooms. This is the first custom room based on the September security patch is what I have tried. There might be any many more, but for now, this is the first one. The official version of Dub Fest OS is what we are talking about. But in this video, we're not going to talk about the change log. We're going to talk about some of the things which are quite impressive in the Dub Fest OS custom room. First is the default launcher. This is only one of the few custom rooms which brings you at least a bit of different custom launcher. By default, it's having the same customizations available in other custom rooms. But those features or those those launchers which are having which are pre-installed in some of the custom rooms are almost same, identically same. But in this case, at least few of the things are here and there. Like the recent options customizations are there. You can customize, you can adjust the recent background opacity. And you have the option for dark status bar the developer options are also not having major customizations or options which even some people don't understand but this is quite impressive secondly if you move on to the app info option it brings you the option to hide that particular app this is so amazing there are very few custom homes available in these this, in this community which supports this feature this is so amazing and it's available in Dove Fest OS custom home. You definitely have to check it out because you can hide that particular app directly from the app info section. This is one of my favorite feature right now. Also in this camera section, we found that in camera section, we have different UI. UI is a bit changed. I mean, settings, etc. are basically same and it is the same aperture camera is what we have reinstalled. But in reality, the camera UI is a bit changed and it is not renamed as aperture camera. The camera name is also changed. Let me show you. This camera is now considered as flash camera and how you can get to know that you can simply move on to the app info. You can see org.dubfest.flash. So one thing is, one thing is quite impressive that you can use any other camera app which the package name is com.android.camera. Like you can use a purchase camera, different purchase camera package app, Graphene OS camera or any other camera app. So this is one of the things. One more thing is if you move on to the apps option, you have the parallel space. And in this case, the parallel space UI is a bit changed too. It's modified. In some custom rooms, the parallel space UI is a bit different. You can simply check out which custom room you are using and you will be get you, you will get to know the how UI is that. But in this case, parallel space UI is a bit changed. And as expected, features are same. Like you can simply make multiple instances of that particular app. You can use multiple instances of that particular app if you want to. Features and etc. are same. By the way, you can't turn off the Google Play services for that particular space. So this is the limitation what I found. But else things are basically same if you move on the battery options you also have the option named as block sensors which simply you can simply block the sensors for that particular app which helps you to increase the battery backup and this could be useful in some cases not for everyone although but for some this is quite impressive if you know for which for the for which apps you are going to block sensors then this app might be quite this feature might be quite useful for you also if i move on to the security options and if i move on to the more security settings the restrict usb feature is also introduced which is available by default in lineage os if we move on to the lineage os custom room and try out trust then you find this option but in toughest ways this feature is present in more of the security settings we also have the wake log blocker option which simply block the system wake logs and simply helps you to increase the battery backup of your device also performance too this is quite impressive and it's available in the developer options you just have to enable the developer options and then you will be able to find the wake log blocker which you can simply enable or disable and you have the option to enable this option for those particular processes you have these options you have the wake log options available and this is optional if you do not want to use that if you don't know what you're doing is simply skip that thing including this at this custom room brings you a lot of customization so you can move on to the derp space for to access these customizations general settings customizations etc some options related to lock screen some options related to always on display retigger notifications as expectedly some quick settings customizations clear all button all the status bar customizations are also present and these are the things these were things i just wanted to let you know if you want to install this custom room the link is already available in the description 
This is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.